Welcome back to NGTV Play Super Smash Bros. Melee featuring myself, Spencer, and my co-host, Matt. I'm playing as Samus. Spencer's playing as Peach. Jump didn't come out. Sometimes all you can do is just hope. Oh, you fucking bitch! Oh, you're gonna get it now. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing I could do. SDI'd that and then air dodged because so I was trying to L cancel the the uh well, whatever move I was trying to do. That hitbox is ridiculously large. It's really not that large. I guess just join is what I meant to say. you though and I didn't live to that but I can wave dash back forward smash the fucking classic That was weird. It made the sound like I had. You dropped it? No, like I had hit the, uh, the, uh, er, the power shield.
Oh, wow. Fucking die! <laughs> Make a bad roll. Your butt just goes out so far. Which is Project M where the turnips and the missiles would trade. Yeah, they definitely kept things pretty interesting. You kill my charge shot. Damn it. Shit. How did that happen? I thought I perfected that. <laughs> yeah. Pretty, I was we're close. near the perfect. I was close. Oh, that was dumb. I should just stone grab you. that second jab hit miss. Oh, that was bad. Oh, that was a real decision make making point for you right there. Hmm. Uh, choosing to throw the the dot eye. 
Yeah. How'd you hit it, get the shield so quickly, but then not get a perfect shield? Yeah, I don't know. Or a power shield, whatever. Ah, I've, guys, it's like the third time. I've just missed it by like a little bit. See, I didn't think you were gonna, you were gonna give me space to to land, mm -hmm. um, and so I, I actively decided not to shoot a missile at you when I landed. Oh. But I should have, because I, I think it would have hit you, or at least it would have made you go into shield. Yeah. What was that? Didn't that look weird to you? Uh, not particularly weird. Well, what'd you do? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I fucking threw it down. That was a pretty close one. Jesus. Jesus game. Oh, what the fuck? I like clipped onto the shit. Take V cancel. You fucking bitch. I've never been able to just like air dodge onto him like that. Fuck me. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. I was banging on the fact that that wouldn't kill me. Oh yeah, the hitbox is so big. Why can't I nair through that? Stupid. 
Is it because my body is my hot body? My ba 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 da ba blue ba blam boo boo. Tutti frutti. Oh, Rudy. Tutti frutti. Oh, Rudy. Tutti frutti. Oh, Rudy. Womp babba doo babba womp bamboo. Let's make some sounds because they sound real cool. Damn it. Try to steal a ledge for me, dude. No, I tried to do like a really, really crazy, like, runoff nair last second scenario thing. Damn, you just walk through the fires and the hell and shit. Through the flames. It's so crazy that how low that goes sometimes. Yeah. I should say sometimes it's so crazy how low that goes because it, it goes the same distance every time. It's crazy how like sometimes that goes low. Like no, it always goes that low. But notice it catches me off guard. Ah, that timing. Whenever you miss a down smash with Peach. You can almost guarantee, like guarantee, another one's coming. Yeah. You know why? Because it's like, Down Smash is so good. You know? And like, I'm on a platform. If he tries to intercept me because I whiffed the first one, well, he'll get caught by the second one. Won't he now? Uh, usually. But I plan a lot of my stuff when you're on the platform like that around timing it specifically where it's towards the, the, the very well, end no, of the Well, no, I wasn't one. saying that. It wasn't like an insult to you. No, I was no. just... Like it's just funny how like that works like yeah, that. Everybody's like, Yeah, I'm just gonna down smash again and it works like seventy percent of the time. Yeah, well the timing's hard to get to like to on everybody. In between. Yeah, on like on all players. <laughs> They're like, they won't do it again. I'm honest like <laughs> Yeah. I won't do it again. Well well what you have to do and this is to all the players out there, you have to assume that they are gonna do it again. You just have to attack them at the end of the first one. Because uh, the hitbox is weird. Like, it doesn't hit you, really, if you get towards the end of the animation. Mm -hmm. That was a good recovery. Isn't it weird that uh, sometimes you can just know that, you, that you're going to make it? You know what I'm saying? It's like your brain does a bunch of math. And you're like, yeah, this, this makes sense. <laughs> It, it plots it on a fucking graph and shit like that. It's like, yeah, no, nah, this is fine. The parabola will, uh... <laughs> <laughs> ah, fucking cock. Mm, 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 mm. Suck my dick, you fucking... I almost said queer. <laughs> Whoa. Not that there's anything wrong with sucking dick. Or being queer. I haven't heard the term queer in a long time. I still can't believe that they had a show called Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. Yeah. Because it's, it's like, I, I viewed it as, as like, it's, it's like worse than Constant Well, the when, when they, when they, they had that show, um, even when I was like, are you fucking serious? I didn't butt bump that. Um, even when they had that show, uh, like, yeah, that was so long ago too. Yeah. Um, like I remember thinking, this is a that, weird. That's really odd that they would choose that word. And I was like ten. Yeah, I, I remember, I remember, I remember feeling weird about it too. Like, like, whoa, that's, that's weird. I also, uh, I actually learned a lot from that show. Um, that never use uh, two-in-one shampoo. Uh, for, for all those guys. Yeah, I know it's dead. Uh, all those guys on the. For our first straight guy. Yeah, uh, all the straight guys. Um, they had um, what the fuck? Uh, they had all the straight guys, right? And almost all of them would use two in one shampoo conditioner, and all like the. I, th the, I think that was kind of big then because the it was queer new. guys was like, I don't know, I don't know their names, so I have to call them the gay guys. <laughs> The homosexuals, the, uh, they would always they'd be like, why are you buying this? This is like the worst shit you can possibly buy. It's useless. Never buy it. 
Like, yeah, and, and it was like every it, third episode, some motherfucker straight guy giving us a bad name. Like we all use two in one conditioner. You know? I feel like that that might might have been some kind of weird trope that they were trying to like. I don't think so. Cause that like that's what a weird ooh, industry to go after. <laughs> well, for a show like that, they they have to kind of like create these like this is a straight thing, this is a queer thing, so that they can make Well, no, it was it was basically gay guys just giving straight guys a makeover. Yeah. It wasn't like a No, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm just saying for, for from an audience standpoint, you know, they had to have been trying, like, you know, it, because, like, not all the shows are, like, just, like, you know, a lot of them have, like, little scripted bits, too, you know? Well, yeah, but, like, this was, it wasn't, like, a reality show, though. Yeah, that's true. It was just literally, like, so, a So maybe that was show. just, like, a thing that guys, you know, like, that, I, I mean, I, I well, feel I like mean, it's, okay. still, it's still something You think about do. it, right? And you think about it, you're like, yeah, like, that makes sense. What that uh, shampoo and conditioner and yeah, the same two bottle? Yeah, one. You're like, yeah, and then like the like. like oh, that saves time. Exactly. But then when, when you do a little bit more thought about it, you're like, wait, what does shampoo do? What does conditioner do? How can how they can mix I, them? How can you mix them and have any any sort of like lasting like or you know appropriate effect? You know, it's almost like like the, the mixed shampoo and conditioner is just a more abrasive conditioner. You know. Mm-hmm. Have you heard of those uh, those dry shampoos? Yeah, Christy and Jenna had some of them on the uh, on the cruise. On the cruise. Yeah, it's so weird because it's 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 like it's like a pseudo thing. Like I watched a video where they, uh, strangely enough, it's it's a uh, it's on it's on the second channel for Rhett and Link. Mm -hmm. It's their This Is Mythical channel where they had their uh, their interns or whoever else works with them. They do a bunch of videos, and one of them they they had all the guys come in and sit down in chairs. And then uh, they just put a bunch. They had like different scenarios, that like was some crazy SDI you just did. Was it? Yeah. Uh, like uh, they had one of them run like a couple of miles to get kind of greasier, you know, mm -hmm. to, to try it out. Oh to yeah, see if it just works. run a couple of miles. I'll be on the Red and Link show. I, no. Well, what's funny is, is 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 they told him to go run, right? But they were kind of being like somewhat sarcastic about how long he had to run. But he did it anyways, and he came back fucking tired as hell. It's pretty funny. Uh, they're like, you, whoa, you actually did it. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah, I want to do it for science or some shit. Um, but, uh, yeah, and, and they tried it out. And it's really weird because, like, it kind of works. But, like, it doesn't make any sense because his hair was definitely greasy from, you know, like, sweaty from running. And then they put it in there and it dried it out and made it kind of soft and, like, at least presentable. It wasn't clean, but it made it, like, it, it did something to make it kind of more presentable, which is really crazy. Mm-hmm. And I feel like calling it dry shampoo is like, it's it's not like completely appropriate because shampoo doesn't make your hair soft, you know. It like sets it up for the uh, the conditioner, you know. So it's like something else. But I think they just call it dry shampoo because it's easier. I still can't believe that I went like probably until I went to like. Freshman, sophomore year at high school before I start, before I ever like used conditioner. That's crazy. Yeah, you knew about that because you're like, what the fuck? What are you doing, dude? Conditioner is awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know, I just don't. And to be completely honest, I thought that it was something that only girls did. That's what you get for being a semi uh, only child with, uh, you know, where people. People don't tell you what's like actually what you're supposed to be doing, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. At least you had like older sisters and shit, and like. I only lived with them for like a little bit. That's true. I guess your parents were just like, "Yeah, you need conditioner." You're like, "Okay." <laughs> yeah. Oh no no. Now I kind of want to look up, like, some Kurai for the straight guy, like, compilation. <laughs> Damn it. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for listening to our Queer Eye for a Straight Guy conditioner and shampoo talk. <laughs> Next time, Matt's going to give me a makeover. No, I'm not. <laughs>
All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, share it with your friends. If you want to see some more, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.